Hey, I've had a few questions about this recently, so I'm gonna answer it. We keep swords sheathed on our offhand side. You know, if you're right-handed, you have it on your left hip. Because that gives you the longest range of motion to draw a blade. If I take this tape measure here and I put it where the mouth of a scabbard would be, and I draw all the way out, then that comes out to 45 and a half inches, a meter 15. And that means that I could draw a sword with a 45 inch blade, theoretically. If we had that on our right hand side, drawing with the right arm, then I could draw about 41 inches, but that's an incredibly uncomfortable draw. But wearing swords on your back is what everybody actually cares about. Take the same measuring tape and pull it out from there, you get 24 inches. So this is the length of a sword that I could wear on my hip. And this is the length of a sword that I could wear on my back. Little bit of a difference. And having a shorter blade would make a lot of sense for close quarters. We use short blades like the Cutlass and the Wakizashi for that. However, pulling it out from your back would take up a lot of space in those close quarters. A lot more than just pulling from the hip. Historically, carrying swords on your back was just used to transport them around. 